Hi, today we are going to show how you can set up your IoT platform with Flux Assets. Here we have a setup to test our Flux Assets. In this setup, we have a PLC device from Beckhoff, PLC device from Siemens, and a device to measure energy from Siemens as well. Let us start. So, first let's install the MQTD broker. We leave this configuration as it is. We write main and we hit install. So, we finish the installation and it's okay. So, on CarFlux, we have some of the assets on this account. I have some of these Flux assets so I can use, but I'm going to use the TwinCat2 asset. So my ADS server is 192.168.100.131. Okay. And I'm going to publish on PLC1 data. And I will not leave the MQTT message as retain and I will take run on discovery mode. And uh, in here, I will check maybe any SSID. I'll name it. No, I will leave it as it is. I don't need it to, to have a special name. We can leave it as it is. Carflux creates the name of my asset. Okay, so it's installed. We have two Flux assets here. One is a functional asset, which is the MQTT broker. Provides us with the broker so other clients can publish and subscribe MQTT variables. On the other side, we have a Flux asset that brings variables into the MQTT broker from a TwinCat device. In this case, it's a TwinCat2, uh, a TwinCat2 device where we are able to get the data. So. Let's now go and program on TuneCat. We are going to create a new PLC project. And in here, we are going to place some variables. I'm going to start with a Boolean variable. And then maybe a real. This is a floating point variable. Afterwards, you can place a string. Strings are nice for testing. All these variables are dummy, and now maybe an int and double int and find uh, wait d i e n t yes okay and now u d i -N -T. UDI, so UDI dummy, U D E N T. Ah, okay, this is set. So now we check the main program and we download to the PLC. Yeah, the program is changing and we check our values. And we have our values here, which are empty. We start both of our flux assets. We have here an MQTT client and a TwinCat PLC control. I'm going to place MQTT client name, change this to MQTT TCP and place the correct host name. Okay, and the port 1183. Okay. We save it, and now we're going to place an hashtag to subscribe to all the topics. And I'm going to change this boolean so we can test it. And here we have it. We have communication between MQTT and TwinCat. And now we change the same variable to false. And here it is. So I can change other variables as well. So I'm going to change the string. 
and a low from yeah oh, wait caps core flow and we publish and we have it on the PLC. Now I'm going to do with this on the double int change to five one two. Oh, and let me, okay, so it is, I publish it, wait, let me release the, the force of this variable, okay, now it's okay, and now write down, not here, but on the variable, write down from the PLC to the MQTT broker, again, okay. And I publish. Oh, and release the force map. Okay, so we have a communication between TwinCAD and the MQTT broker. Hope you like it. Subscribe to our channel so you can see how to interact with these variables on a C-sharp app. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.